Hi, welcome. I had the opportunity to play Baldur's Gate 3, the full release, for about 40 hours, and I'm here to give you my thoughts and impressions on the game so far. This is not a full review, because I have not finished the game, I'm not even close, but this is what I think so far in case you are wondering if the game is good. And the answer to that is yes, it's incredible. It's exceptional. It's not perfect, nothing is, but it's really, really good. This video will be completely spoiler free as I talk about different things. The background footage, if there is anything that I show that isn't from early access, it will be hopefully inconsequential, but I'll try to keep it all to the things that we have already seen from trailers or were available in early access. Uh, you will see a Dragonborn monk and Karlak. That's the only difference. But if you don't want to see anything, just listen to this video. It'll work out just the same. I want to start off talking about what comes after the early access period that many people have played. And I'm very happy to report that, at least in my opinion, it's better. So I was very worried that Baldur's Gate 3 would be like Divinity Original Sin 2. In my opinion, DOS 2 had a very clear peak towards the beginning of the game. I would say maybe the first 30 hours of Divinity Original Sin 2 are really good. I would say that after leaving the early access portion of the game, it got better and better very quickly. Of course, this could be subjective. I meditated really hard on if I like this because I had already seen the early access things or because they are genuinely better. And after thinking about it a lot, no, it's better. The things that come after are better. The way that the game opens up, the places that you go to, the characters that you meet, is just a very natural, well-represented escalation in a fantasy environment. It, it's just a really good story, and it hits the beats that it has to hit in a way that is very satisfying. Everything that we've seen in early access is solving conflicts, figuring out where you stand and what's going on, and getting to meet your companions. But as you progress further, things naturally escalate. You get higher stakes, you become more powerful, you realize the importance that you have in the story that is unfolding and the presentation of all of that, the way that it's framed as a bigger and more epic scale and how things are just growing and growing into, oh, wow, this is this is world threatening and we're here in the middle of it and we have to grow into it. And the foes, the characters and allies that you encounter, it just feels the best type of a fantasy story that I love to see. The game also, and I am playing The Dark Urge and I will talk about it in a minute, is dark. There is a lot of really messed up things, more than you've seen. It gets wicked and it's beautiful in its character design, in its environment design, and in the tone that the story sets of just, this is some real bad stuff going on. There's some horrible individuals and you can be one of them. And that's awesome. And I love how that's just kind of hinted at in the beginning, but then it just keeps going and going and going darker and darker and darker, but in a way that never feels oppressive. It still feels like you're immersed in this world and just enjoying everything and the, the pieces of hope and light and fun and interesting characters still are there, but just how evil the evil people are there are no qualms in showing that very clearly and i love how the story progresses i'm so happy that the more i play the more i like the game so if you were worried about that from my opinion you shouldn't be great stuff the improvements from early access are noticeable immediately the game looks better runs better there are places where the voice acting i can tell has either been re-recorded or very touched up to sound better. Audio mixing across the board, much better. Clarity on UI, better. Responsiveness, a lot of the bugginess is gone. This is exactly what we were expecting or what we should expect from a transition to early access to launch product. It, for the way that the game is, for the type of game that it is, I think it's working perfectly. It's got its couple weird camera angles still, much less weirdness with camera though in in dialogue specifically than before there's no glitchy unresponsiveness there's no weird lag at the end of conversations or anything it's all been running very smoothly for me throughout the different patches that we had in the review process overall great 
this is how it's supposed to feel and it feels like a finished product maybe not like the most absolutely bug free super polished thing you're still gonna get a camera angle where you're just staring at the back of your character's head and can see nothing else that will still probably happen but that is to be expected it's just a game that has so much flexibility that you know some of that comes with the territory but it never feels like oh it's a buggy mess at all it does not feel buggy at least for me your mileage may vary check other reviewers if maybe they had some of that the dark urge it's a very impactful decision it changes a lot of things from what i can tell i have not done a second playthrough obviously um i, I did start it just to check but i just ran out of time to, to keep doing two playthroughs at once so as i continue playing and i keep giving my thoughts i will do update videos as i finish the game and as i prep for a second playthrough and i would like to do a big deeper analysis of the entire game uh later on hopefully before armored core and starfield occupy a lot of my time so i think that it has a really big impact but i cannot confirm to which extent i don't think it's to the same extent as picking an origin character as your main character because that obviously comes with a lot of like it, it you know what you are and what you're supposed to do and your goals the dark urge is still kind of this amnesia character so it it's a little better for role playing in my opinion but it is transformative i almost regretted the decision with some of the stuff that goes on in the game after you pick the dark urge and then i just uh, decided to keep rolling with it and i'm happy so far companions fantastic I really do love the companions in this game. Astarion is a little bit of a of a shit that I don't like. I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of Astarion, so he's not in my party. When I do a second playthrough, I'll do it with the companions that I didn't have on this one. But I think Gale is supremely interesting as a character, if maybe initially the most simple. Will's story is amazing, and I really enjoy it. Shadowheart is kind of the most milk toast of them all, but I'm starting to warm up to her more because the story very clearly goes in a direction where she is very important and it's worth having her around. Lazelle is really cool and it's the one I, I regret the most that she's not actively in my party. And I think Carlac is awesome as a character. Just super fun to be around. She's kind of like if a badass biker also had a very bubbly infectious personality and i love being around carlac and she's great as a party member as well so i mean in combat i think the game gameplay wise also hits its stride later on when you're reaching levels five six and seven you really get to open up that spectrum and there is a tremendous difficulty spike at least in my experience at le as you progress there's a couple of moments where you're like oh damn this is tough this is really difficult I got to be on my game. I got to think about my buffs. I got to think about my potions. I got to start using more items in, in combat. I need to think about my gearing. I need to have strategies planned out. And I love that. I think that's really good. All of this is on balance difficulty, by the way, not on the hardest one, not on the easiest one. It's the middle one. But I, I think it's spot on. It's what I would like. I do think that for a lot of people, it might be a little frustrating on that middle difficulty. So do not shy away from going on the first difficulty, especially if you are less experienced, have less time, or you, know, you just don't like hitting your head against a brick wall too much. I do want to say, I've said before, I think this game has the tremendous potential to bring in a lot of new players into the genre, especially on console, and I think that's true. The presentation here is leagues above other games in the genre historically. It is more streamlined but only in a good way. I don't feel like I ever had less options than ever before. I just felt like they were more easily explained and there's a lot of just intuitive quality of life stuff. There's still stuff that is not very intuitive for sure, but I think that for the average person that maybe has never played a CRPG but is familiar with video games, they could have an amazing time with this game. And that's great. That means I think this is a great starting point for somebody who is not familiar with these games and I recommend it for sure but as a disclaimer the things that happen in CRPGs still happen here so sometimes you'll just get a lot of bad rolls sometimes navigating traps especially certain environments even with the turn-based mode on can feel like an annoying slog sometimes you will start a story critical combat scenario and even if the likelihood of it happening was super low, you get rolled. You just get destroyed turn one and you have to reload. 
and just by reloading it's a cakewalk as maybe you thought it would be because you were over leveled or something sometimes you'll have a 50 percent chance to hit and miss six times in a row and yes i did google the likelihood of it and <laughs> makes no sense but that stuff will happen it comes with the territory and if you dislike that i don't think that this will change much of it although i do think the story and experiencing it and just living in this world a bit is worth putting the difficulty down and just going for it you're gonna have a great time regardless but if you just can't stand it this game will not fix those issues for you it's still working on that rule set and it's working as intended i did have some small technical problems though and i'm worried about people on lower end pcs i'm running basically top of the line i'm on a 4090 current i9 the whole shebang when starting up the game it was slow as in it took longer to process things especially enemy turns but after running for a while that problem resolved itself but it would start to stutter and chug um, especially when moving across different areas so if you were fast traveling a lot to different places to get things done it would start chugging harder i did check processes and it didn't seem to like be ballooning in vram or anything like that everything seemed normal and it was resolved by simply restarting the game. So it wasn't game ending. It was a small inconvenience, but it was a small inconvenience for me. I do not know how that's going to work out on lower end PCs. And if that is a concern or not for you, check other reviewers or check Steam reviews. Uh, I do not have a like I would like to have a midline rig in order to do proper testing for reviews in the future. But I'm not there yet. So please, buyer beware, check that out when it comes to performance. Otherwise, I didn't really have many performance issues. Uh, you know, the odd bugs, like I mentioned. Maybe the camera gets stuck when you're moving around. Maybe it looks weird in dialogue, stuff like that. But I, I actually I didn't have a single crash. So your mileage may vary. These games are very complex. Scripting sometimes screws up. It's just for me, I tried hard to break scripting on a couple of things and that did kind of bug the game out, but it figured itself out in the end. So I was quite surprised. So technical side, uh, I'm okay with it. But again, my circumstances are only mine. So check that out if you're concerned. I, for me, it is worrying that, I, that you know, the game should not chug, should not start stuttering. That's definitely a game optimization problem, not a hardware problem. Hopefully that's fixed. Uh, these things, you know, we had, I think, three different patches during the review access. So it's Larian. They will continue to update it. I just am not sure of the state at launch. So, yeah, that's what I have to say about Baldur's Gate 3. I think it's excellent. It truly is. If you like CRPGs and you're not excited to play this game, you, I don't know what's wrong with you. You should be. This is so good. You're, you're probably going to love it. I think it's very difficult for somebody who enjoys these types of games not enjoy it i know that a lot of people have been saying well i didn't like divinity original sin that much or i didn't like the later parts of it i think you should trust me you should you should do this one it's really good it's just so good um i'm i'm loving it uh and if i didn't i, I was really prepared to say eh, not feeling it after not feeling it after act one but that's not the case and i don't know if you guys can tell that makes me really happy because i wanted this game to be good uh I, I was gonna cover this game either way because i i love the franchise and i love the setting so i'm really happy that it's like really good so that i don't have to like slog through it <laughs> it's great it's great to have a feeling that you know i'm making a lot of content on this game but i'm super excited to play it every day that's awesome the only reason i got early access to review the game and to play it early is because of you guys the people watching my videos the support has been incredible uh hard to describe um i thank you so much you guys liking the videos and commenting on them and and all of these things uh larry and took note and they said hey here's your review code i've never had that happen to me before and it's an amazing feeling um both that people are liking the content i make and to have a developer say hey we we agree we're gonna uh we're gonna let you do this as well so you can tell the people who are watching you what you think about the game it, i'm just is hard to describe um so every person that's 
liked, commented, or just simply watched one of my videos, uh, thank you from the bottom of my heart. It means so much to, to get the opportunity to get this video out earlier than I thought I was going to. Um, it's a privilege. I'm aware of it, uh, but it's a privilege that has been granted to me thanks to you guys. So like I said, more videos coming up, but I hope this puts the mind of some doubters at rest. Go out there into Faerun, have the time of your lives. Take it slow, save often. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Thank you for watching. I'm Mug Thief, and I'll see you all on the internet after I take a nap. I'm so tired. I have not slept in a while.